Hi everyone, my name is Aman and today we will be going to start the series of CKS which is Certified Kubernetes Security Specialist. In this series we will be going to solve the questions on killer.sh platform. If you don't know what is killer.sh, so killer.sh is a platform where you get some set of questions that has the almost same exam environment. It also helps you to understand what are the types of questions you can have in your real exam. So let's start this video with this first question. So let's solve the first question of this CKS series. And before going to solve the first question of the series, you have to make sure that the terminal should be open. And for that, I will just click on this and it will open my terminal. And then after that, you have to open the Firefox for the Kubernetes documentation as we will be going to use it for our questions. So this is my documentation opened and then we will go to the terminal. So, so now we can read the question number first. The question is you have access to multiple clusters from your main terminal through Kubectl context. So we have to write all context into this file on this server one per line. So there should be a break after each context it wants to say. Then after that we have to write kubeconfig extract the certificate of user this and write it decoded to this file. Okay. So there are two things according to this question we have to solve. So the first would be we will be going to get the context of the of this Kubernetes cluster. So for that first of all we will just run this command and I will just write copy and paste it and yes I am able to see this. So I will just check nodes of this cluster. So there are two nodes. Then after that, the main point that we have to access multiple clusters, get all the clusters. So we will be going to get all those context for that. We have a command which is kubectl config get context. It's a get context, okay. As you can see, the contexts are here. Now we need to just we just have to print the context and store it in this file. So for that, there is a one argument. What you can do, just use hyphen o argument with the name, and you, we are able to see the context only. And then I will just copy this and store it in this file, and I will just check it using cat command. So the first thing has been done. Then we will be going to solve the next question, which is we have to accept the certificate of this user. So first of all, I will just run kubectl config view file. And as you can see, we have the username restricted at the written prod. And as you can see, the client certificate data is omitted. So to see the value of this certificate we need to use an argument that is hyphen hyphen draw and if I just enter it you will be able to see the certificate so what I'll do I'll just copy this and I'll echo and then we will decode this certificate using base64 command and you can see the certificate is here So what we will do, I will just run the same command and I will do base64 hyphen d and then I will copy this certificate to this particular file and let's check what it contains. So yes, it contains our certificate. So that's it for this question. Please check out the playlist for this CKS killer shell series. The link is given in the description box 
and also you can check out the pinned comment. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and have a good day.